Now we're going to look at some reactions that occur with ions. This is the whole reason for deciding what is in the ion form when they are uh, dissolved in water, because it's the ions that react. This top equation is called a molecular equation because everything is written as though um, they're stuck together like a molecule. We know, though, really, when an ionic compound like this dissolves, it breaks apart. And I can tell this is dissolved because it has the AQ. So this reaction is written um, as a molecular equation where everything's shown stuck together, but really those are broken apart. So what I've done is I've taken this potassium sulfide, because it is dissolved in water, it's an ionic compound, so it must be broken apart. So I showed the ions that would be forming. Notice that um, this two makes me have a two here because when that breaks apart, I, I get three ions, two are potassium and one is sulfide. So to get my complete ionic, I split apart everything that is a strong electrolyte. And if you'll notice, I did not split apart this. This um, says solid, and so it is a solid here and it's not split up. This is our precipitate. So everything but the solid is split apart. These are all ionic. This is the same reaction, and I just wanted to look at what's happening. Both of the reactants were ionic and ion completely ionized. So basically we had four different ions going into solution. What is ha That's what's going on here. And two of those ions are finding each other. The calcium and the sulfide weren't together at the beginning, but they're finding each other and they're getting stuck together to form this solid down here. And this is our precipitate. Okay, these other ions didn't do anything. They started off so it's the potassium and the iodide. They started off just floating around like the, the orange and the yellow. And after the reaction, they're just floating around. Um, they do not change at all. And we have a special word for those. We call them spectator ions. So these ions are spectators, spectator ions. So they're not reacting. They're just sitting there and watching the reaction happen. Happen. The reaction is the calcium and sulfide coming together to make this solid. So here's the definition of spectator ions. They are ions that do not do anything in the chemical reaction. They do not form new bonds. Um, they remain unchanged. And so our potassium it's the same before and after the arrow, and our iodide, again, the same before and after the reaction. Those are our spectator ions. And so what we can do is write a net ionic equation that shows what's really, ha what's really reacting, what's really changing. And what's really changing is that we have calcium and sulfide coming together to make calcium sulfide, a new compound. And so we rewrite our complete ionic equation here to include just the ones that react. And so this net ionic equation is kind of what we usually skip to. Um, it is always the reaction that is required to make the um, precipitate, the PPT.